Hi everybody. It's a little bit late here, but um, I'm painting and it's time for day 16 of my 100 lives in 100 days. Um, I am filming on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So just in case you're wondering why I'm looking all over, there are three cameras. Um, I had the opportunity to go to France lately. So if just recently. So if this is something, if this is a new place for you to stop by, my name is Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris. This is a place where I love to paint furniture and art. Um, the other, yesterday, yesterday, um, hi bub. Yesterday I actually did staging. So um, I like to do a lot of different things, but tonight I just felt like sitting down and clearing my table and getting out the oils that I actually bought when we were in downtown Paris. Um, we found all kinds of goodies in there and I actually, of course I could get oils anywhere. I could get them right here uh, at my local craft store. Um, but there was something about just wanting to buy them when we were in Paris, right? So we also, we saw a store, like a gallery, um, there at, just across the street from Monet's Garden and Home that had palettes that were actually painted. Um, and Josie, uh, Josie Siefger, one of, uh, they're the owner of Paint Pixie Brushes, she actually bought one. And so I thought, I'm gonna do that. So when I came home, um, I know, Janet, it's been so busy today. <laughs> this wasn't exactly my plan, but I'm happy to be here right now. Um, and it's a nice thing to just sit down and wind down right before I go uh, get ready for bed. So I did my own the other day. This was literally my first time to do anything with all oils. Um, and I ordered a bunch of these paint palettes and so I thought, well, let's do one together. So I have about a dozen of these, just like this. Well, now I have 11, because, you know, I did this one. Um, so I thought I would just do another scene. I ended up buying multiple palette knives, and I, I bought oil pastels, and d just a ton of different things. If you, if you didn't catch my live when we got back, I showed you everything that I bought. But, I basically have everything right here with me, and um, I, know, I thought I might create something a little bit similar. So um, I thought this would kind of be a fun and expensive series for me to do right before the holidays. Um, so as you can see, I tried to just kind of an abstract. I kind of did the water here and um, with the sky and the sunset, and then I kind of just did some abstract kind of a picture kind of like buildings, cottages. Um, near the water here. So I thought I would do something similar, but different on all of the rest of these. So um, Claudette says, good morning from South Africa. You know what? In my creative connection, I just finished up interviewing one of the ladies in the group and she came on for me at 4 a.m. and I was so happy to be talking to her. Couldn't believe she woke herself up to come and talk with us. 4 a.m. Thank you, Heather Watson. So I'm gonna squeeze out some oils here on my paint palette and do some mixing. Uh, so just, what I think I'll do is tilt down because you really don't need to see, Instagram's probably pretty good here, but YouTube and Facebook you need to drop down. You don't need to see me. Thank you, there's Teresa right there. I was just talking about you over on Facebook. So. I'm using actually one of the palettes to mix up my colors and this is what I did the other day so I don't want it to look just like this but it is going to be similar colors because these are the oils that I did buy in Paris. So I have a blank one and I just thought well we'd finish the night just kind of chilling out and um, doing a little palette work. So if you want to hang out, great. I might miss your questions but I promise I'll go back and check it out. Some of these colors I haven't even opened yet, but I'm gonna take the um, kind of the mustard color, kind of an ochre color, and I'm gonna mix it with the white. I usually work with acrylics on my canvases, but I've been wanting to try some oils, so why not just buy some in Paris while we were there? We found the art store after doing lots of research. They don't have Hobby Lobbies and Michaels on every corner. So it was a little bit more difficult. And of course there are 
really fine art stores, even in Oklahoma, I, that I just, um, they're not as convenient for me to get to. So I'm mixing up some white and just for a sunny sky. But I thought these would be really fun if I did a dozen of them and made them available for Christmas presents for people and they weren't, um, they weren't very expensive. So that's kind of what I'm working on and uh, plan on doing those for the next few weeks and get them done and on my website so they would be available in case someone wanted to buy someone a piece of artwork or for themselves. She's trying to get Kristen's audience. No, I'm really not. <laughs> I know I'm not usually on here um, this late, but today I ended up actually running a bunch of errands today and um, you know, time gets away. I staged my new armoire. Um, hi, Jamie Ray. How are you, dear? I staged my new armoire today and um, I needed to do it at, right, at the right time. I'm still getting to know my new staging wall. The time change and then it I figured it out and then the time went and changed on this right for daylight savings so then I thought okay now I got to do it a little bit earlier so I'm still just using the bright white and the ochre and adding in some color here and I want to bring in a little bit of light blue so I'm grabbing the ultramarine and I'm going to mix it with white so I can get a little bit of a sky blue I'm going to do this whole thing with palette work. I don't plan on um, using any brushes. Can everybody see? Keeping Shar's hours. Hi, pretty lady. Hi, Shar. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. I started to come on by nine. And my 18-year-old said, hey, Mom, you know that haircut you've been wanting to give me? I said, yeah. Now you're ready for the haircut. Yes. So everything works on his schedule, it seems like. And so I would have been on here by 9. But, Mom, I need a haircut. So, and I thought, yes, he really does need a haircut. So let's do that now. Moving the paint around the oils for a sky, just in short little, short little strokes. This is one that I did last week, and I haven't been, I was, haven't really been able to touch it since, but I got those two pieces of furniture done, and I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. This is so calming. Well, good, because I thought it might be something fun to do right before I go get ready for bed. All right, so I'm kind of picturing kind of a sandy bank kind of coming down this way and then some ocean water over here and then maybe I'll put some palm trees of sort over here. That's what I have pictured, um, but I need to mix up kind of a turquoise. So I want turquoise blue water. I've got some golden paints as well out here. So I'm going to start just kind of a, a line of ocean. I thought these would make kind of good gifts. I don't want them to be very expensive. I thought somebody might, like when I saw Josie and, and Debbie really, really love the idea of them being on the palettes, I thought, well, that's kind of a fun idea. I kind of want to go home and do that. And you know, Amazon, order it in two days. Two days. Amazon's got you hooked up.
little bit of a darker blue. I'm going to mix just a little bit of green in it too. Mix that dark blue and that green to get a really dark color for the water that's far away from the shore. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yes. Of course, since this is oils, it's going to take longer to dry, so I get a lot more time to get it just the way I want it, whereas my acrylics do dry a lot faster, the type I use. So I've got to build my shore up over here. But I'm working on getting my water done first. This is the knife that I'm using. Now I'm actually going to take the turquoise and I'm going to mix it with white because I want it to be just a lot brighter. I meant to not say brighter, lighter is what I meant to say. Yeah, I know, Laura. I am, um, I'm learning that. That's This is all new to me, but I am definitely noticing that the oils smell stronger. going to add to this sky more too because to me it's still a little bit um blah. so I'll be adding in just some fuchsia for maybe like a line of pink in the sky um at least that's what I think If you're just popping on, is the brand of the acrylics in the basket golden? Yes. I knew what you meant, Farah. Yes, it is golden. And uh -huh. so yeah, I just thought I would work on this for a little bit and kind of get to a point. kind of a sandy color over here um, in the water and create some texture here and then maybe some palm trees down here at the bottom. Um, if you're just popping on, I kind of started a series of painting on palettes. I saw this idea in Paris and thought, sounds like a good one. Sounds like a good one to do. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more of the dark teal. I love a 
that the oil, I can keep moving it around and there's so much flexibility. So I'm going to let that set up just a little bit. comment Luna about something so now I'm going to get just a little bit of white and I want to add just some water texture here look at the waves were kind of coming up especially at the end point a little bit of fuchsia I think both um, hello BJ I think um, I'm going to um, yeah a little bit of seed foam I'm gonna do my sand first and then come back with the seed foam um, I want to get a little bit of fuchsia to add into the texture of the skyline teeny tiny bit and I'm actually gonna get the smaller palette knife Lena how fun is that happy birthday is that a birthday gift for yourself I'm just gonna kind of outline this here make kind of a skyline That's fun, I think. Okay. That's really all that I want there. I do want more white. Okay, I need to create kind of a sand color. So I'm gonna do a drop of this brown with a bunch of white. To get my sand color. Kind of getting some sand, a sand line going there, and then I wanted to make it kind of see if I could make it look like the palm trees were up, kind of up closer on the on a cliff at most. They were looking down. If not, we'll just keep trying. <laughs> so I don't know what's been on with YouTube, but um. YouTube has just not been working lately. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's, this been the, la the last four times, YouTube is not working. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. I, I don't have anything to do with it. Um, I just do the normal thing that I've always done. 
Yeah, I just wanted to do this just for a minute before I went to bed. Go get ready for bed after this. And I wanted to play around with these oils that we bought when we were in Paris. And I say we because Debbie Beard also bought some. I know Jamie Ray bought some gifts for her daughter too. Uh, maybe for all the kids actually. And so, uh, anyway, we had a great time in the art store. We were tired. I think it was the end of the day. And we were getting hungry, but... Okay, I think I'm going to leave this right in here. today in a podcast interview and I said I enjoy furniture and art equally the same um, right now I feel like it looks a little jovial 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 um, but I need to add in a bunch of details um, this was the one I did the other day and um, I just kind of wanted to create just a series of these palettes for thought they might make good holiday gifts so I bought packages of them and um, I thought when I had a few minutes each day I might sit down and work on a few so um, anyway that's what I'm working on thanks for hanging out with me tonight I know it was later than normal for me but the day just got away and then I thought I'm going to go in there and paint for a little while and let you guys join in um, and try out my new oils from Paris. So, thank you very much, Laura. Um, you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. And I, of course, will be back tomorrow for day 17 of 100. Woo, we got a long ways to go. Hope we're just getting fired up, aren't we? You guys, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me.